Hello, hello. How are we all today? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Lori from Art Lore. And today we're doing a 15 by 30, and it's from Michael's, it's a gallery wrap. I have my pillow down already. It's the PPG um, Interior Multi Pro, and I get the eggshell. And today um, it's three different golds, um, a pearly white, and a gray. Um, my cell activator is black, so um, I didn't want the uh, gray to be too dark, but it is pretty dark. And it's the Van Dyke Brown, which to me pulls gray. So um, I think it'll be pretty. I think it'll be um, kind of fun. So let's get you down to the canvas. I'm gonna show you my colors and then we're going to make a mess and see how this works. So, for one of the paints I did, and it's really not gold, um, it's more yellow, um, it's the yellow ochre. But what I did was I added the golden iridescent pearl fine to it and made it, you know, kind of shimmery. So it has its own little gold, uh, little gold effect. So there's that one. This one here is Golden's, um, no, I'm so sorry, Amsterdam. Um, and this is the Deep Gold. And I can't stir it and show you at the same time because my phone is focused impaired. There we go. So there you can see the gold shimmer in there. So we have that gold. And then last but not least, my Yumlicious TLP Harvest Gold. So that is so scrumptious. Those are my golds. And then here's my white. And I just did um, just a white that I had. And then I added the golden iridescent pearl fine to that also. And then last but not least is the Van Dyke Brown, and this is Amsterdam's Van Dyke Brown. Okay, so yeah, I want to layer, I want to layer them so they're all together. I'm not really looking for negative space. So um, I think what I'm going to do is do the, um, I'm going to do a Payne's Gray one here. And then I'll do another Payne's Gray one here. And then, um, 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 I think I want to do my ochre. And the white will come next. Paints gray, ochre. There's my white. And then I'm going to top it off. I'm just going to actually just drizzle just a tiny bit of the um, TLP. Just kind of worm that in there. Same over here, a little tiny bit. Oh, I need more. Just gonna drizzle, drizzle, and then I'm going to top it off with the Amsterdam Gold. And they all are different in color. So hopefully, this is really thick. I always tend to mix this too thick. Um, hopefully all the golds will show up. So hold on, I gotta, something is inside my cell activator. Okay, here we go, cell activator. And this is the Aussie Flow and the Amsterdam um, Oxide Black. And I have been doing three to one. And we got a few little bubbles. That's from the TLP. Because I just made that up today. 
Okay. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna do medium fan and cool air. All right, looking pretty good. I like the color palette. I think it's going to be fun. I see all the golds in there. So that's exciting and it's selling up quite nicely. Um, so hopefully, I think I added just a little tiny bit too much uh, cell activator. So I need to back off a little bit. We'll see. There, that's better, not so much. Okay, here we go, same speed. Okay, so now, um, <laughs> I would like to put one right in the center. And I think what I want to do is, I think I'm going to start it with the yellow ochre and then the white and a little bit more white there we go then I'm going to end it. Let's see, I'm gonna drizzle some TLP and then end it with the Amsterdam Gold. Okay, here we go.
Okay, looking good. All right, so now what I think I want to do is I'm going to put one here and one there in the same color, if I can remember it, the same color as that. So I actually should add just a little tiny bit more paint here. Might as well just do this side also, just so I have some pillow to blow on in case I didn't get enough here. Okay. Alrighty, so I started with the yellow ochre. I'm gonna go right there. And of course, they're mowing my yard today. Sorry about that. Yellow ochre, white. Oop. And then I did drizzle TLP and make a mess, geez. And then my Amsterdam. All right. All right, and then another one to balance off that one there. So let's see, where's my yellow ochre? Here we go. One right there. And then my white. Drizzle. It's selling up pretty nice. All right. I'm really glad that I used that Van Dyke Brown um, because I do, it's almost like a taupe. It's, um, I don't know if it's because it's mixed in with all the golds or the white, uh, kind of pulled, um, pulled that to a different color, I don't know, but um, it's taupey and it's really, really pretty. I love it. It's um, very grayish looking. And with the yellow ochre mixed in with the um, the iridescent pearl, that is absolutely gorgeous. Got a couple little bubbies here. Um, 
And then, of course, you know, I mean, we don't even need to say anything about the TLP because that's just magnificent on its own. And the Amsterdam Gold, it's doing its thing. It's really incorporating quite well with everything. So, you know, I, um, I see these guys coming up. I don't care if they sell all the way together. Um, I don't, that doesn't bother me anymore. Um, I don't mind it with a little bit of black space in there. But I am going to give it a good five minutes because I just want to make sure that I'm not spinning too soon. Hold on. There. And um, I'd like to see what it does in about five minutes. So I'm going to just kind of fill in my corners and um, clean up my mess, let this set up, and then we get to spin. Okay, I will see you in just a few minutes. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, I gotta move this out of the way. Okay, lots of cleaning, I'll tell you. Okay, so we're just going to go gentle. See what happens. That's kind of like way gentle. Let's go a little bit more. We know we're going to lose the two corner ones, but I hope that some of the uh, yellow ochre mixture stays on there in the corners somewhere um, because it's just such a pretty color. I almost wish I would have started with that as my first two blooms, but hey, you know, live and learn. Maybe I'll do another one and we'll, we'll see. We'll start it over and rearrange. Do these two last and do these three. But, I, but see, there are three. Ugh. Ooh. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is really pretty. Really, really pretty. So, um, I kind of want to go this way because I'm hoping that will come off to make it a little bit more stretched out. And um, we have a lot of uh, pillow coming off, which is what I want. And um, yes, yes, yes. I kind of want that to come off there. Um, but I guess it's not bad. I do have a little bit of negative space going on this side, but you know, I'm going to be spinning it again. So, um, I can definitely guarantee you that um, that will come off. So let me check everything here. And I'm just going to give it a little scoop de do And make sure all my corners, which they are not. Oops. Do you ever like clean up your, your table or... Um, and then find all kinds of things like painted down, glued, and stuck to the table. I found a, a couple of skewers. I found a orange wood stick, or I mean a popsicle stick. I even found um, a palette knife, a small palette knife. Okay, I don't want any black on this corner, but I don't mind the Van Dyke Brown. Um, yeah, this one I don't mind the Van Dyke Brown because there is some there. So. Everything is spilling off the edge very nicely. Lots of paint coming off, which means I had a lot of paint on the canvas. So let's do this again. Let's spin one more time. Um, I do want to go this way with it. I'm just going to go one more time and see what happens if that can, those little corners or those little one spots there will come off and I can get rid of that negative space. That one's not coming, but that's okay. Um, I could always tilt, um, but I think what I might do is pull that forward. I'm going to get rid of some of this, though. 
I'm going to pull it forward this way. Yes, the um, Van Dyke Brown, it is Van Dyke Brown through there, the gray brown, but it's also picking up very taupey in spots. And I am loving that. It is absolutely beautiful. There's my skewer. Okay, I just want to see how deep we are here. Um, it's not too bad, but I do think I need to spin another time. Um, I think I'd like to pull this forward though. And I think I'm going to, oop, go right about there. And now we'll give it another spin and see if I can just get that off on there. I don't know if that'll, I don't even know if that helps. I'm sure it does, but I'm probably doing it backwards, knowing me. Yeah, it's not coming. Um, it sure is pretty though. Okay, so because that bugs me, um, I'm going to see if I can just lightly tip this because I do not want to lose too much. Very, very, very slowly. Okay, so now let's do it again. Whoa, did you see that? That was scary. I think my canvas could potentially have just flown off my Lazy Susan here. I've got way too much paint here. That was so close. Whoa, that was close. Okay, so let's just do a little one. It's coming. Almost there. I almost feel like I could just blow that out, but I really like that line in there. And if I blow it out, I'm going to lose that demer. I'm going to lose that line that's in there. And I really don't want to lose that. So I'm going to lift this up again and scoop out some of this paint and scoop the bottom off the best I can and then just let it sit there like so. And then we're just going to do a baby spin. Holy crap, I'm nervous now. Wow, I am shaking in my boots here. And it came off. There we have it. Whoa, that was a close call. Okay, so I did lose my bloom in the upper corner there, but I still have this one here. And there is a tad of the uh, yellow ochre, which it ties in quite nicely with everything else. I'm in love with it. I love the colors. I love everything about it. Now I just hope it dries nice. So, okay, I'm going to take you down and let you see the results. All right.
That is so pretty. Loving the color combination. Very, very different for me. Um, but it it was it's fun. I really like it. And I think I might want to do a couple more in smaller ones. Yes, indeed. So there you have there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me today and letting me come into your home. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Would love to hear what you have to say. And until next time, bye.